Hello my friends, it's day three of NaNoWriMo. I'm up to 7,500 words, going according to plan. Um, had some interesting developments in the story. You know, I, I, I have a plan in the story, but I am, of course, making up a lot as I'm going along, and it's fun. That's how I like to do it. I like to have kind of a real general outline uh, of where, what are the things that I want to happen, and I just kind of figure out how to make them happen as I go along. And, and I think that's actually what makes writing really enjoyable for me, because the whole experience is an inventive, creative, imaginative experience. Um, so what's happened so far in the story? Yeah, the good guys are going after the bad guys. They're trying to trying to uh, find them. They're also talking among themselves about about what they're feeling right now and, and because you know some of their friends have died and they also have, uh, you know, Bandas, the main character, is, is dealing with some emotional issues. Um, then also back in Wild River, uh, one of the characters, Polorna, she has remained and she is dealing with some issues related to getting her family's property back because because at the end of Wild River, um, what happens is is the people who stole property from her family, they've been defeated and, and she's trying to get back into her family's position of prominence, but the law doesn't necessarily uh, recognize her ownership of certain things and also there are all these workers who have been really mistreated by the, the bad guys and also by her family who are kind of bad guys as well in the past and she's having to deal with that and she and her big issue is that she 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 seeks power she seeks prestige she seeks wealth and influence but she's also a bit of an idealist she's gone off uh, to to study in college and learn some some uh, somewhat uh, 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 radical ideas for her time, you know, the ideas ideas like basic human equality and things like that. And so she's having to come to grips with this and, and see how these things balance out. And uh, she does want to help these these workers, but she's trying to find a way to do that in a realistic way. And, and in order to do that, she has to assert her ownership of these things. And that's just one aspect of the story. And it's going to take me in an interesting direction because I'm, I'm going to be talking about basically communism um, and how these, you know, these people who have been downtrodden for so long, they're, they're fighting for freedom, they're fighting for basic rights, and some of them are kind of are more extremist than others. And, and you have people who are influential in the society who want to fight for equality and, f and for justice, but, but you know, they aren't as extreme as these people who are basically communists and then you see of course the the uber conservatives who are trying to keep things as they are actually take them back to way, the way they were before when there was slavery and you see all, all of these uh, interesting um, conflicts going on in the story and these, these are things I'm really interested in that I like talking about in, in you know in real life and daily life and I, I get to explore them in my stories you know and, and of course I, I have good guys and bad guys and I, I do present certain ideas as right and other ideas as wrong but I also try to realize the complexity of of issues and also balancing idealism with uh, with just uh, just realism being realistic and see how and I just had two characters have a conversation about that like well you know what you say makes one of them tells the other well what you say it seems to make sense to me but but at the same time I know it's totally not realistic we can't achieve that but we can achieve something else that's an improvement it's better so shouldn't we be pursuing that and uh, that's an interesting discussion that's going on in the story and of course I have these uh, shadowy organizations that are trying to uh, uh, spin all of this that's going on in, in their in their favor, and, and they're trying to take over the world, basically. And, and uh, yeah, of course, of course, this is in the end a fantasy story, and and there are uh, people with magic uh, in the mix and all that good stuff. So that's where that's where I am right now in my story, and it's been pretty exciting. I I, I enjoy it a lot, and I'm. I'm excited to be doing NaNoWriMo, and anyone else who's doing NaNoWriMo, go ahead and leave a message here and let me know how you're doing and, and what you're working on. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and I will talk to you in the next video.